New questions being raised tonight over the Baton Rouge Zoo's new director and his past employment. That man pushed out of his previous job in Texas. As NBC Local 33's Jonah Gilmore reports, local leaders are wondering about his salary and the process he went through to get the job. Building up the zoo and making it better are the reasons Breck says it hired Jim Fleshman. Fleshman comes to Baton Rouge from Waco, Texas, but it's the reasons why he left Waco that's raising a red flag. The zoo, Fred Foss, and the superintendent, Corey Wilson, still felt that none of those um, past allegations uh, would deter them from hiring this gentleman. Those allegations Metro Councilwoman Shauna Banks speak of include mismanagement of finances, communication, and the work culture at the Cameron Zoo, all highlighted in a May 2018 article by the Waco Tribune Herald. In March of 2017, a zoo employee was placed on leave, then fired. This after accusations of that fleshman groped her. In a statement, Breck says, in part, Breck performs an extensive background search of all senior level employees such as Mr. Fleshman. They go on to say, we are delighted to have such an accomplished professional to join our team. A statement Fleshman's former employees support. Along with Jim Fleshman, we built a, we built a very nice zoo over the years. He was always looking to expand and have new exhibits. Uh, fresh things for people to come and visit. Aside from the allegations, some are wondering how someone can walk into a newly created position making top dollar. This is a new position where he's hired at the, at the highest level at 95000 uh, Certainly, uh, Mr. Foss is near retirement, so he would be the perfect segue to move into that position. So I'm sure this is part of a greater master plan, but it will not be to our benefit. Jonah Gilmore, NBC Local 33 News. Metro Councilwoman Shauna Banks also says there were about 15 other applicants who applied for the position, but no one knows who they are.